I'm going to show you how to use some mastering tools um, for this track by Robert Johnson, which has got some issues with it. Um, it's only a small segment. Hopefully, just by looking at it, you can see that one side is um, larger than the other side. So that means the left side is probably louder than the right hand side. So we're going to be addressing that. Um, we're going to get this ready so it can compete with things on Spotify. So we're going to go for a Luffs loudness unit full scale of around minus 14. Uh, we're going to make sure that there is no clipping. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. So let's start off with, uh, we have to first drag the audio track in and then open up the inspector so we can see the channel strip. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some effects. So I'm going to go straight to metering and go for a multimeter. And then if I select the, I believe it's pronounced goniometer, um, the button here, this will now show me um, left, middle and right. Where is the track pointing to? So as I play the song, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this, the output, so I don't get done for copyright. We can see that the signal isn't going straight down the middle, but it's going more towards the left. So let's address that. Let's sort that out. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect above the multimeter. I'm going to go with utility, gain. And this gets placed above the multimeter so that then the multimeter can read the changes that are being done by this. So we're going to be using the balance pot, which will allow us to send more of the signal to the left or to the right and watch the change it has this meter here. Let me make this larger so it's really obvious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter and press play and then as I turn this you'll see that the song starts to go more central, more towards the middle. If I go all the way to the right the song will now start being sent to the right so it's all about finding that midline. You can obviously use your headphones but this is a really good way of doing it without even listening to the song. So that's the first thing that we need to look at is rebalancing the song. The next thing we need to look at is the loudness of this song. So again, I'm just going to add a loudness meter by going into metering, uh, loudness meter, here it is. And then to use this, it's like a stopwatch scenario. You have to press start, play the song through, and then once you're done, you can pause it and it will give you an integrated LUFS reading, an average loudness of the song. Press start, press play, the song's playing. And what that's doing is it's working out the signal, uh, the mean average of the signal, and writing it here. So you do the whole song. I'm just going to pause it here. So we've got a um, loves reading of minus 36 dB. Well, that's a lot quieter than the other songs on Spotify and YouTube. So again, if I go back to my gain pot, I can now turn this up using that first pot here. As I turn this up, it will turn up the value here, and so I'll get a louder LUFS rating. So restart it. I've gone for a 13.5, just as a guess. Start it, and then we can see straight away the integrated is higher. So now I just keep pushing this. One after it's around minus 16. Reset that, start it again. And then you fiddle with this gain until you get to a minus 16. My laptop sounds like it's taking off right now. Okay, um, so done this. Set the loves up. Okay, the last thing we need to look at then is to make sure that I'm going to go back into metering, and this time I'm going to look for a level meter because our master cannot exceed 0 dB of true peak. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a level meter, and that's going to be the last thing on my track. I'm just going to flip it to vertical because I prefer it in vertical mode, and then I'm going to put it to true peak mode. And then as I play this file, it will make a recording of the loudest part of the file.
Now, just to be safe, what I like to do is just before the level meter, I like to add an adaptive limiter. And what this does is you can put the output ceiling. How loud is the song allowed to get to? And I will set it to minus negative 0.2 dB. So if any signal goes slightly above that, hopefully the compressor will squish it so much that it won't exceed 0 dB. I'll then drop my gain to 0 because I don't need to add any more gain. I'm happy with the lofts. And then I put True Peak on. Now if any signal goes above 0, this limiter will squish it down, ensuring that I have a True Peak below 0, LUF rating of around minus 16, the song is balanced from left to right, and that's everything. Once I'm done with that, I can then bounce out my song. Uh, Command U to put a loop region about above what I'd like to bounce. Command B to bounce. Make sure my settings are correct. Uh, pulse code modulation, so a PCM file, wave 16-bit. Sample rate 44.1 if I'm working with um, audio. Interleaved, so my left and right channel come out together. Take normalize off. And apply any dithering. And then I, I like to include the audio tail in my masters. That way, just in case there's a, a tiny bit of reverb or a delayed sound that I've accidentally cut off, um, Logic will find it for me and ensure that that's put onto the file. Press OK and you're done. Then check the file afterwards.